we were lifted by helicopter on the 12th of April to 881 South, and we know we're leaving Quezon. We're only going to be there for a couple more days. We're getting relieved, and we're done with the place. And the first platoon goes, and the guy who's platoon was Lieutenant Fordham, the guy I had dealt with in my first week in Vietnam there, the first week in the field. He was a real good guy. We're laying in the dirt next to one another. He and I used to exchange books. We talked Texas football, Notre Dame football. He went to Baylor and his group had LZ security. So they're going to be on the last helicopter out. And as I start to get up, he reaches and he squeezes my hand. He says, good luck. I'll see you at the base. And then I get on my helicopter. It starts to lift off. The next helicopter is approaching and Lieutenant Fordham is up and his guys are all moving as we're leaving. I don't witness this, I just know that's how it happens. I'm down at the base four minutes later, five minutes later at the airstrip. We get off, we go in the trenches, we're waiting for this last part of the platoon or the company to come in. Who comes down the ramp? A bunch of Marines carrying five dead Marines. One of them is Lieutenant Fordham. The, two, the rounds were adjusted and they hit right at the ramp of the helicopter as he was getting his guys on board. I'd heard there was going to be a dedication in 82 on Veterans Day and I said to my wife, I was teaching at Sheehan and it was the football season and I said, and I was just an assistant then, and I said, I'm going to, I have to go to D.C. I've got to go. I got in my car and I drove to the wall and it was dark. Guys were using flashlights or cigarette lighters to look for names. That nothing was paved, it was just all grass. There were no lights in the ground and I looked Fordham's name up. And then somebody said, you looking for a name? And I said, yeah, I am. I'm looking for a, a bunch, but this is the one I want to. And so he helped me and he held out a cigarette lighter. Or, and I, and there it was, Benjamin Ford. I, I, I didn't kneel down, I fell down onto my knees. I was, I put my head down and I cried. I mean, it just, it brought it all back to think he was, his name was there. The Vietnam Traveling Memorial Wall will be displayed in Cheshire, Connecticut at Bartlam Park from June 1st to the 5th. For more details, go to bcofthebrave.org.